up guys james carter tv continuing my 2016 nfl draft recaps and today we are talking about the baltimore ravens ozzy newsom and the baltimore ravens have a great history of drafting so well and this year i think they had a good draft but uh, to be honest i'm kind of disappointed i expect a little more from ozzy newsom i mean it's definitely a good draft i think it probably ranks top 10 i'm gonna look at all the gpas and rank them after today and i'll upload a video on all that but you know, I just, I'm a little disappointed, but let's get into it, right? They had a lot of picks, so we have a lot of cover. First, we have the sixth overall pick, offensive tackle, Ronnie Stanley out of Notre Dame. And I really like this pick. I liked it on draft night, but now I have some reservations. They're playing him at left guard. I don't get it. I think you should have put him at right tackle. I don't have much faith in Ricky Wagner at all. I'm sure he's going to take the throne for Eugene Monroe whenever he leaves or is released or whatever the hell is going to happen with him in the future. Uh, so I don't, I question the left guard thing, but again, is he, is there anyone I sort would have taken? One. And his name is DeForest Buckner, who went one pick later. But I do like the pick at the end of the day, and I give it an A minus. We move on, 36 round, or 36, oh no, God, 36 overall pick, second round. Uh, our outside linebacker, Camilla. Correa out of Boise State finally getting that name right yes guy went to the combine blew it up I mean he was really good in the drills uh, so fluid with his hips show that he can be a 3-4 outside linebacker they take him he's going to be a 3-4 outside linebacker I like the pick I think he's of value but my only question is did you really need a 3-4 outside linebacker I know Terrell Suggs got injured Elvis Dumerville got injured but I thought Z uh, Zadarius Smith was was pretty good last year guy was taken in the fourth round fifth round had six and a half sacks i think now you get him you get terrell suggs back healthy you get elvis dumerville back healthy those are your three outside linebackers do you need a fourth i mean yeah terrell suggs is probably going to be gone after this season maybe even dumerville but then you can take one next season i don't see the immediate need is he going to produce immediately i don't think so so i only give it a b plus we move on because he's a value. It's a good pick. I just question if he's going to play. We move on. 70th pick, defensive end, Bronson Kafusi out of BYU. Now, here's the thing. So, this is a guy that we, we weren't sure if he was going to fit in a 3-4. Now, they're saying they're going to put him down a 3-4 defensive end, 5 technique. They're going to say, rush the passer and do what you do. Now, at BYU, I think he produced quite well. Uh, this is a guy that had a good amount of sacks every year, was able to rush the passer, pretty strong against the run, although he should be a little bit stronger. It, it play strength isn't great, um, but it has some moves to his arsenal, can accumulate more. The fit at 3 4 5 technique, I'm not sure I love. I think there are other players to be had here that would be a better fit and better, better player for you in the long run. In fact, I think you may have taken one. So I'm not so sure about this pick. Um, I do like the pair a player. I think once again he's a value. Not sure as much. Uh, not sure how much he's going to play and if he's ever going to stick at this spot. I can only give it a B minus. We move on. Third round, 104th pick overall, cornerback Tavon Young out of Temple. Guy that's very athletic. I mean, this guy moved around at the combine, showed his skills in the athletic category. Has very good ball skills. Came up with a number of interceptions in 2015, 2014. That's great. It was at Temple in that division that they're in, which isn't very good. But okay, I'll let it slide. But man, he's small. 5'9", 189 pounds, soaking wet. I mean, this guy isn't going to be... Uh, I mean, he's not going to be an outside corner. He can't be. He just, he, he can't be. Not consistently. Uh, I mean, maybe, although you do face Antonio Brown in your division. Uh, although I don't think you want him on number one wide receiver right now, but still. And this is a guy that he just, he won't, he's not going to be able to cover guys on the outside. You're talking about strictly a slot corner, but the good news is you needed one because you have Kyle Arrington there right now who isn't very good. You have St uh, Jimmy Smith one side, Ladarius Webb. Hopefully they can stay healthy, but this is saying a lot. And then now you maybe can put in Tavon Young and he can do some things for you. So I like the pick. I give it a beat. We move on to the fourth round, 132nd pick overall. This is a guy that I think is going to be better than Rebron 
Johnson Kafusi. And this is defensive tackle Willie Henry out of Michigan. A guy that knows how to rush the two gap, rush the one gap. Guy that was very disruptive on that Michigan defensive line. This is a guy that I thought was going to go round three. Goes round four, end of round four to the Baltimore Ravens. I think this is a great pickup. A guy that's going to probably start over Bronson Kafusi at that defensive end position. And make some plays and even be very similar to Haloti Nada who you had in the past. I love the pick. I give it an A+. We move on. 134th pick overall. Kenneth Dixon out of Louisiana Tech. Guy loves to catch the football. And Mark Trestman loves hearing that. You know, Mark Trestman likes running backs that can catch the football out of the backfield. And I think he's going to offer that. Problem. Did you need a running back? I mean, okay, yeah, Justin Forsett, who I don't think is very good. I don't know why you guys re-signed him. Usually, I expect Ozzie Newsom to let these type of guys go. He kept him fine. You drafted Javorius Buck Allen last year. Played pretty well at the end of the season. Now, you draft another running back. How much is he going to play? Also, he has some ball security issues. Couldn't really, he had 13 fumbles the past three seasons. Also, has some injury concerns. Questions here. Questions there. Will he play? I don't know. I like the player, though. So, just on value and alone you get a B not on board with the philosophy yet again but at least you're getting value I'll give you that you move on and that will get you a B every time for me we move on to the fifth round 146 pick overall defensive end Matt Juden out of Grand Valley State now tough evaluation first of all he plays for Grand Valley State who so I had to dig this film out of the utter depths of hell pretty much to get stuff on this guy but boy did he produce 20 sacks 23 and a half tackles for loss I mean this guy was making plays all season long, went to the combine, was athletic, uh, really looked like he deserved to be on the same field, in the same drills as a lot of his competitors. Like seeing that. Also has some injury concerns though, and he played at Grand Valley State, so you question, how good is he really? But I'm interested, he produced a lot, I won't knock him too much for going to Grand Valley State, I'll give this pick an A-. minus. We move on, 6th round, 182nd pick overall, quarterback, slash running back, slash wide receiver, Keenan Reynolds, out of Navy. I mean, what position doesn't he play at this point, and what position will he play for the Ravens? We don't know. Apparently, it's running back. It could be wide receiver for a little bit. Either way, this guy knows how to make plays. I think he has 20 broken tackles uh, over his collegiate career. Maybe that was just one season, actually. I mean, the guy knows how to make people miss. I mean, he did it consistently at Navy. He goes to Navy. You know you're getting an upright, standout athlete, a guy that can lead your football team, even though he pretty much won't have to because he's not going to be a star. But anyway... High character, going to work hard, going to put in the work, great. Even though he's not a great athlete in terms of, like, you put him in the comp, I tell him to do drills, he didn't do a very good job. He did fine, but pretty much below average. But he made people miss, and I saw it consistently, but he was playing for Navy, and whoever the hell they play for uh, and against on a weekly week or on a week-to-week -week basis, you really don't know. So I, I question how much he's ever going to do. But I'm interested. Mark Trestman is talking a big game up about him, so I'll give it a B-. minus. I'm intrigued. We move on. Sixth round, 209th pick overall, Maurice Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy, I think that's, I think that's how you pronounce it, out of Virginia. Uh, hate the pick. Uh, a guy that really uh, did not show up to me on film. I thought he was weak. I thought he didn't like to tackle. I thought he had poor technique. Guy gave up 10 touchdowns last season. Only had three interceptions. Didn't even have an interception last season. Had three interceptions in his collegiate career. Yeah, I mean, come on, guys. I, I, I don't know what they see in this guy. Uh, yeah, he's an okay athlete, but man, I, to put up these type of numbers, you just didn't see him play well. So I don't know how he's just going to go to the NFL, be coached up, possibly. Um, but man, I just, th just bad, honestly, in college and not intrigued. I mean, I'm intrigued, uh, but I'm not on board with this pick, and I'm not sure how well he's going to do at the NFL level. I give this pick a D. Plus, and we end there. So you put in all these grades into my GPA calculator. Out comes a GPA of 3.24 out of 4, which is equal to a B plus. It's a good draft.
You know, I think you found a starter at left tackle in Ronnie Stanley. Eventual starter outside linebacker in Camilla Correa. Bronson Confuci, maybe. Probably just a rotational guy, though. Uh, Tavon Young, uh, slot corner. Alex Lewis. Oh, I forgot Alex Lewis. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, sorry about that. Let's talk about Alex Lewis. Okay, Alex Lewis, the fourth round pick. 130th pick overall. See, you guys had so many picks, I can't even keep up with them. Don't like the pick. A guy that is not a good athlete. A guy that at Nebraska, I saw give up a lot of plays, a lot of sacks. Uh, I don't see the upside with him. Arm length isn't great. A le a tall height is fine. But I, just, I, I, I wasn't impressed at all. When I turned on the film, I thought this guy was going to go in the 6th. They take him in the 4th, albeit at the end of the 4th. But in the 4th, don't love it. I give it a C-. minus. So there we go. Now you put in all these grades, you get a 3.24 GPA out of 4, which is equal to a B+. So I think you found a starters in Stanley Correa. Uh, Tavon Young as a slot corner. Willie Henry. And then maybe Matt Kenneth Dixon can work his way up the running back depth chart. Pretty good draft. You know, I think you have a good amount of busts here. I'm just going to call it what it is. I don't have much faith in Bronson Confuci being more than a rotational guy, to be honest with you. Uh, Alex Lewis, I don't think he's ever going to play. Uh, or, or do you want him to, honestly? I don't have much faith in... Uh, I mean, okay, and then you have, you know, nice little pieces. You know, Matt Judon's going to be a rotational guy. We'll see if he can stick. Keenan Randall's going to be a rotational guy. We'll see if he can stick. Maurice Kennedy, I don't think he's ever going to make the team. Eh, I don't think he's going to make the team. So there you go. Um, you know, pretty good draft. I'm a little disappointed. I expect more from the Ravens. But the good thing is your roster's already pretty stacked at this point. You could have taken a wide receiver. Kenan, Keenan Reynolds, yes. But you could have really taken a real wide receiver. One of these fourth round picks. But you didn't. And I think you're going to regret that. Uh, we'll see. You know, Steve Smith, you know, Brashad Perriman, that's cute. Marlon Brown, but, you know, you, you know you need a wide receiver, and you didn't take one, so that hurts the grade, too. But until next time, there you go. James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.